Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about this really cheap camera that I got, the Sony HX10V. This is it right here. It's a, it's a point and shoot, it's 80 megapixels. I think it came out in about 2012, I'm, I might be wrong though. I got it for really cheap in a shop called Cash Converters, about 300 Rand, which is close to $20, maybe a bit less. When I went to that shop, I, I just looked, you know, I always do, I always go to like these thrift shops to kind of pick up any good deals that there might be on anything really. And um, when I found this camera, I gave it a shot, it actually had a memory card in it and it powered on at, at the shop itself. So for 300 Rand, I said, you know, it's not that much money, I just under $20, right? And I was quite surprised. I've had a, a point to choose in the past. I think it was a Canon PowerShot. Um, and that one I also got for about the same price. But I think that one was only about 40 megapixels. But the quality of that thing was really bad. So I always had to change the images to black and white to hide all the blemishes that it made. Um, it, it wouldn't render colors properly. It overexposed literally everything, no matter what settings I changed. So obviously this, this little camera doesn't shoot raw. Um, so it's just JPEG only. It does do video isn't too bad it's not full 10 it's 1080p but it's not um, 1920 by 1080 like normal 1080p cameras would shoot a little bit more about this camera is yeah it's it's really quick to turn on which is really cool if you're in the streets and you just want to whip something out of your pocket so i live in south africa which isn't the safest places in the one of the safest places in the world so i yeah to have this little guy i mean for 300 around 420 dollars if anyone does mug me or if i lose it somewhere I'm not going to be too hard sore but it does pick up the cam i mean the images and the videos on the go as i like to get you know and the zoom on this thing is really impressive um, as you'll see in one of the videos like you're able to just you know on the fly change your focal length so easily so quickly even during video which is really nice and it doesn't make too much noise which is really really great so yeah the flash works I bought the Canon in the past and the flash didn't work on that which was a bit of a pain because you can't ever um, you know take photos at night with this one it works quite well and keeps things in focus and in great um, low ISO as you know so yeah so one thing that I don't like about this camera is that the dials on the back they are very finicky <laughs> um, so if you've, you've got, I've got like really big hands you know because I'm such a tall person I find that sometimes I'm changing settings by mistake. I actually have that same issue with my Sony ZV E10, but I always want such a small camera to to keep in a pocket, to keep low low profile. I'm not trying to you know, lose expensive gear all the time, you know. So yeah, when I walk around, um, it's very quick, very easy just to whip it out. It's got the little wrist strap, which is so practical, and the movie button is like right there, which is really really cool. So yeah, I'm I'm impressed with this guy. I I took it. And I got used to it this week and it surprised me I'm not gonna deny it uh, it makes me want another one so I was actually thinking I might have made a mistake with the Sony CV 10 and I maybe should have gotten the CV 1 just because of the, the 4k capability to so got that really nice zoom lens with the really nice um, f-stop from 1.8 and yeah um, I guess I, I didn't realize that so this could be an option if that makes sense I always thought the quality was really bad on these point and shoots but this camera it surprised me and I did a poll on Instagram and a lot of people actually rated this camera I was so surprised by that I thought people would say no nah, it's really bad quality so I'd put it above my iPhone quality which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max because it's just got better you know iPhone processes all of the depth of field where this is a bit more genuine as I say I, I can see myself walking around this thing I'll probably use this thing until it's really beat up unless I replace it sooner rather than later with something a bit more better it shoots 4k and um, that's probably it really I love I love shooting 4k it's just so easy and so useful to to edit in post you know thanks for watching this video guys please remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos that I post you can enable notifications if you'd like to be notified whenever my video comes um, is loaded onto YouTube and yeah keep safe keep shooting and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask in the comments cheers